Hey everybody, it's Break here, and then we're on the D50. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the D50's synthesis structure and how it works, and what the main idea behind linear synthesis is. Uh, first of all, the three main components of D50 are PCNs, uh, digitally synthesized waveforms, and subtractive synthesis. And they're the three main components that make up D50, as far as the uh, sound design goes. Uh, PCMs are right there. I hope you can see those. Uh, the PCMs are just one second samples. Um, some can be modified with the TVA and others can't. There's a hundred actually. Uh, and there's uh, plenty of variety to choose from. You have different uh, metallic ones, like this one, which is like a uh, xylophone type sample. Uh, you have all kinds of different ones. Uh, you have noise. Different loops. Uh, like Digital Native Dance uses one of those loops. Spectrum is actually really cool. Uh, these are more noise type PCMs. I don't know how well you can hear those. And uh, this has been modified with the TVA, so it's a little bit longer. Um, but when you listen to these when you first uh, start at the uh, D50, uh, you won't be hearing any of that release time on there, you have to, you have to modify that in the TBA, but anyways, um, those are the basics of the PCMs there. Uh, I have two PCMs on this uh, one partial here, which is the upper uh, two oscillators, and then on the lower uh, oscillator I have a synthesized waveform, which is the second step in the process, um, where you use the square wave and a saw wave, and you Combine that with the PCM and, and complete the rest of the waveform into a pleasant mixture of the two to make it more realistic. Here's the uh, the synthesized waveform that I created. Doesn't have very long duration or anything, but and when you mix those two, this is the sound that I used in uh, one of my songs. That is the very uh, basic of it. Um, like I said before, the PCM can actually be mixed with the synthesized waveforms, and then finally be treated with uh, subtractive synthesis, which is actually a very basic uh, or the most basic form of modification of waveforms by filtering out uh, different harmonics that are unnecessary for the sound, and you can actually modify those in the TBA. Uh, also, uh, another thing I should mention is that the PCMs cannot be modified with a filter. Um, since they're digital samples, there's no way that you can actually filter those, which I wish they would have made some way to be able to do that, but um, unfortunately there's not. So, um, the only thing that you can treat the PCMs with is the TBA, and that's only some of them. Some are one shot samples and others can be uh, modified and looped and different things like that. Um, you also don't have to use PCMs in every sound. I don't. Um, I hardly ever use PCMs except for uh, this patch here. Um, but yeah, uh, you can choose to use them and mix them with the waveform or you can just, you know, use all four partials as the synthesizer generator. And what I mean by synthesizer generator is. Um, the setup that the structures have here. Here's the structure, you have seven of them. Plenty to choose from. Uh, like the first one is synthesizer generator with another synthesizer generator connected together. This is probably the most basic structure that you can have. Uh, the second one is both synthesizer generators for both partials, a uh, third ring modulator. So D50 does have a ring modulator on it. Uh, some of the other ones here are like a PCM sample uh, with the synthesizer generator, and then the PCM samples with the synthesizer generator and ring modulator. So the farther along you go here, the more complicated it gets. And then finally there, structure 7 is two PCMs with a ring modulator connected together. And uh, I guess I should mention underneath here is the different output modes that deal with the uh, two partials and how they go through the reverb unit and different uh, designs there. 
There's all four of those. And then also to help with uh, designing patches, um, they have the envelope generators listed for the pitch envelope generator, which is the first one, and the TBF, TBA, EMV, and the EQ unit. The D50 has a little bit of everything on it. It has PCMs, waveforms, and surprise synthesis. And then after all that, you can mix in, you know, different effects like reverb and chorus and EQ and delay and a bunch of different things. So it's easy to get lost in programming with this thing because there's, there's so many things you can do, so many choices. Um, so yeah, that is about it. The very basis of linear synthesis. Um, yep, yeah, that's about all. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we'll be signing off for now and we'll start on video two.